Hallelujah. 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 Lift up your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of praise. When one soul is saved, there is a convention in heaven. Right now, there is a convention in heaven. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Hallelujah. My topic is to speak on the fullness of Christ through spiritual warfare. Lift up one hand as a sign of surrender to God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I commit my spirit, my soul, my body to you. I ask that you anoint these lips of clay. Grant me utterance and make me a blessing to your people. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have a Bible, go with me to Matthew chapter 13. Matthew chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 24, Matthew 13, 24. Says another parable put Jesus forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man who sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tars among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the task also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, did we not sow good seed in your field? From whence has it the task? He said unto them, An enemy has done this. The servants said unto him, Will you then that we go and gather them up? But he said, No. Lest while you gather up the tars, you root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of harvest, I'll say to the reapers, Gather ye together first the tars, and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. May God bless the reading of his holy word in our hearts. Give me a believing amen. amen. story we read is a parable Jesus told. He said the kingdom of heaven is like this. A man went to sow tars, uh, went to sow wheat, and in the night while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tars among them. So his servants went to him and said, Master, you sowed wheat, but now there are tars. An enemy has done this, the master said. Tonight I want to speak briefly on the spiritual warfare. An enemy or the enemy has done this. Say the enemy has done this. When you go into the dictionary and you look for the meaning of the word enemy, enemy is interpreted to be one who is antagonistic to another especially one who is seeking to injure overthrow or confound an opponent an enemy is something that is harmful or deadly a military adversary a hostile unit or force or one who impedes the progress of another an opponent, an adversary, a foe, a rival, an antagonist, a combatant, a challenger, or the other side. These servants, the Bible says that in the night when men slept, a thief can only steal from you without your knowledge of it a thief never steals from you when you have knowledge 
and the Bible tells us that the devil is a thief he has come to steal he has come to kill and he has come to destroy he only takes advantage of us when we are not aware of it the Bible says in the night when men slept time will not permit me to belabor this point on when men slept you remember that in the days of King Solomon one day two women came with babies one was dead and one was alive and the women said this one said in the night whilst we slept my neighbor slept on her baby and in the morning she took my own and is claiming that is a child now it is very interesting to understand for a nursing mother to sleep to the point that she will sleep on her baby means that mother is very insensitive if you are here with me give me an amen, amen. but that is what happened exactly and there are so many believers today who are sleeping on their babies when I talk about baby I'm talking about something that is your product there are so many people the business they give birth to they are sleeping on that business there are some the marriage they give birth to they are sleeping on that marriage or they are sleeping while that marriage is going west they said whilst men slept things happen only when people begin to sleep okay. if you were sleeping tonight may you wake up oh you didn't hear me i said if you were sleeping tonight may you wake up in jesus name if you were sleeping in your ministry tonight may you wake up in jesus name if you were sleeping in your ministration tonight may you wake up in jesus name if you are sleeping in your giving tonight may you wake up in jesus name but whilst men slept the enemy only operates when people sleep or people operate in ignorance and they don't know the bible tells us that the devil is our enemy that means he's our opponent he's our antagonist he has come to impede us to make sure we don't make progress but by the end of this convention whatever was impeding you will be removed from your path in jesus name by the end of this convention whatever was an impediment in your ministry in your business in your marriage will be removed in jesus name an enemy is one who stands to oppose you an adversary the apostle paul said in the book of corinthians first corinthians chapter 16 he said for god has set before me an open door but there are many adversaries you see the problem is not the open door the problem is the adversary and there are some of you god has given you an open door but you can't enter paul was saying that god has set before me a door an open door an open door means effectiveness an open door means promotion an open door means favor an open door means victory but there are some that god has set all these things before us but we can't enter because there is an adversary but tonight every adversary will be bound in jesus name i said tonight your adversary will be bound in the name of jesus 
when we talk about spiritual warfare we are talking about taking advantage of what Jesus did for us on the cross on the cross of Calvary Jesus overcame the devil over 2,000 years ago we are not going to fight the devil or we are not going to overcome him Jesus already overcame the devil we are only going to take our victory if you are here with me give me an amen the battle has been fought for you and I what spiritual warfare tends to do is to contend with the enemy to take what belongs to us to possess our possessions and I am glad to say tonight you will live here possessing your possessions by the time this convention is over you will possess your possessions so Paul was saying there is an open door that is set before me but there are adversaries to contend with me to make sure I don't get my promotion to make sure that child that God has given me does not manifest beloved do you know that when we go to heaven we will see a lot of parcels with our names written on it that was not delivered in the book of Daniel the Bible tells us that one time in the days of Daniel he began to pray he was fasting he fasted for 21 days on the 21st day the angel Gabriel came and said from the first day you began to pray God gave me the answer for you but when I was coming the prince of Persia withstood me what Daniel was saying was that or what Gabriel was saying was that immediately you begin to pray God gives you answers to prayer and there are some of you you have prayed and you have been waiting and something has been holding the results of your prayer but this morning in Jesus name we bind anything that is holding your answers we bind anything that is stopping you from receiving what belongs to you and we say what belongs to you will come to you in Jesus name the angel Gabriel said from the first day but the prince of Persia withstood me some say well that is in the Old Testament and the Apostle Paul said in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 he said for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but we wrestle against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places Paul was saying we are still involved in a wrestling match with the devil but you see any contest you enter into that the result is already predicted means that already you are on the winning side hallelujah the Bible says this is the victory that overcomes the world even our faith the Bible says he who is born of God overcomes the world you are born of God because you know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior so you are an overcomer tell your neighbor I'm an overcomer what the devil does is temporarily he tries to stop us from possessing what God has given us to possess but I came to assure you that whatever belongs to you will come to you in Jesus name in 1st Peter chapter 5 verse 8 the Bible says be sober be vigilant because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walks about seeking whom he may devour your adversary the devil the devil is our enemy our adversary he's like a roaring lion he's not a lion 